Hello and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to look at the Axis Move locomotor that allows us to set up our thumbstick so we can move smoothly around our scene or we can use it to do a snap rotation and have a nice simple fade as we're turning left or right. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. We're starting with a new scene where we can set up our axis move so we can walk around these objects as we progress through the tutorials. So to start with, we're gonna set up our axis move and to do that, we're gonna to need to bring in the locomotor's axis move package and we do that by going to window, then to Tilia, then to the package importer and then look for the locomotor's axis move package and we'll click add to add that to our project. And when that's added to our project, we can close the package importer window down and now if we go to our hierarchy and we right click, we can add to Tilia and then prefabs and then look in locomotors, we can now see axis move and we have four different prefabs for axis move. The axis move vertical slide, horizontal slide will allow us to slide forward, backwards, left and right in a strafing motion. We also have vertical slide and smooth rotate, which allows us pressing forward and backwards on our stick to slide forward and backwards. But if we press left or right on our stick, our play area will smoothly rotate, incrementing to the left or incrementing to the right. We also have vertical slide, horizontal snap rotate. Again, the vertical motion of our thumbstick will make us slide forward and backwards. But now instead of smoothly rotating left and right, when we push our horizontal stick to the left or to the right, we'll snap rotate to a certain number of degrees with a fade in and out of the screen. And finally, we have the vertical warp and horizontal snap rotate. And what this does is when we press forward or backwards, instead of smoothly sliding forward or backwards, we'll warp forward a certain number of steps or warp backward a certain number of steps with a fade in between. And again, the snap rotate will work the same way before. If we press left or right, we'll rotate a certain number of set degrees with a fade as we're doing it. So for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to implement the vertical slide, horizontal slide for our right controller. And on our left controller, we're going to set it up so it does vertical slide, horizontal snap rotate. But we're actually not going to use the vertical slide part of that. We're just going to have the snap rotate. So to do that, let's add those prefabs in. So to start with, let's add the vertical slide, horizontal slide prefab by selecting it. And we can see it's coming up here. I'm just going to drag that down to the bottom so I can see it easier. And then we have to pick what horizontal axis controls our horizontal slide and what vertical axis controls our vertical moving forward and backwards. So again, we're just going to use the generic XR mappings. So this will be set up for our right controller. So if we look in our right controller input actions, and then we go down to the right thumbstick, expand that. We should have right thumbstick axis, and in there we're going to have the horizontal and vertical. So we just need to grab, drag and drop our horizontal into our horizontal axis and grab, drag and drop our right thumbstick axis vertical into our vertical axis. Now you may be using a headset that doesn't have a thumbstick and has a touchpad such as HTC Vive. If that's the case, you may need to use the right touchpad or you could also go into the Unity input system settings and update the relevant settings to map to whatever controller buttons you want as well. With those set up, we don't need to change anything to do with our horizontal or vertical axis multiplier. These just mean how quickly we move when we press the thumbstick forward. When it's fully depressed forward, we'll be getting a value of one out of it. So this is just slowing us down a little bit. If we wanted to go a bit quicker, we could change this multiplier to be two or three or whatever number you wanted. And same with the vertical axis multiplier as well. And then what we need to do here is set up our target and our forward offset. So the target is the thing that we actually want to move around. And the thing we want to move around is our play area. So if we just expand our tracked alias and then look in aliases, we want to use our play area alias as that's what we're moving. And then the next thing we need to do is set up our forward offset. So the forward offset is the direction that we will consider forward based on that object within our world. So if we want to use our headset as our forward, that means whichever direction that we're looking in, when we press up on our thumbstick, we will walk in that direction. We could also use a controller as our forward offset. So if we pointed our controller in a certain direction and pressed up on the thumbstick, we could continue walking in that direction. This would allow you to then turn your head and look in another direction while still walking in a different direction. But for now, we're just gonna use the headset alias. So grab, drag and drop headset alias into forward offset. And that's it. That's the axis move facade set up for the locomotion of vertical sliding and horizontal sliding. And that will work on our right controller. So as I said, we're gonna have on our left controller, instead of sliding around, we'll have it snap rotate when we move our left controller's thumbstick 
to the left or to the right. So to do that, we're going to add in another axis move. So right click on the hierarchy, go down to Tilia, Prefabs, Locomotors, Axis Move. And this time we're going to add in the vertical slide, horizontal snap rotate. And I'm going to grab, drag and drop that down to the bottom so we can see it easier. And again, you can see we've got the same settings on here. We've got a horizontal axis and a vertical axis. So on this one, we're going to set it up with our left controller. So if I expand our left controller and go down to left thumbstick, and then in the left thumbstick axis, we want to take the horizontal axis and this will control our rotation. I don't actually want to give it a vertical axis because I don't want it to move us forward and backwards. So if we don't provide an axis, all that will mean is the function in the prefab just won't actually work, but we won't get any errors and that's what we want. And we can see here the horizontal axis multiply is set to 45. That is multiplying every time we turn to the left or turn to the right, it's multiplying the degrees we're going to turn by. So that 45 is basically saying we've got a snap rotation of 45 degrees every time we press left or right on our thumbstick. So again, with the target settings, we need to say what the target we're moving around is, and the target is the play area alias. And again, the forward offset is the forward direction we're moving. So let's use the headset alias. And because this one is actually doing a rotation of our play area, we need to provide a pivot that we rotate around. And we can use the headset origin, which is found within the play area alias. So if we expand that, we can see headset origin here. We can grab, drag and drop that into our rotational pivot. And finally, because this one does have a fade effect, we need to provide the scene cameras that we're fading. So within our track alias, we can just grab, drag and drop our scene cameras and drop it into there. And there we go. We've now set up locomotion where we can use our right controller to go forward, backwards, strafe left and strafe right. And use our left controller to simply rotate around with a snap rotation every 45 degrees when we push left or push right. So let's jump into the scene and see this working. So now we're in the scene. If I press forward on my right thumbstick, we can see I can move forward and backwards and go in right and go in left. And then if I was to use my left thumbstick, pressing forward and backwards doesn't do anything. But pressing left will rotate me round to the left with that nice fade. And pressing right will rotate me round to the right as well. And we can see if we walk up to walls, just with the axis move on by default, we'll pass straight through objects because there's nothing to tell us that we've made a collision with that object. We will look at that in a future video using the pseudo body. But for now, we're just looking at how we can set up the axis move. And again, if there's a ramp, instead of going up the ramp, because we've got no physical presence, we'll just walk through the ramp. You could actually fix this as well using the teleporter because the teleporter has its snap to floor. And therefore, when we walk towards it, it would actually move us up and down. And you could do the same thing with a terrain as well if you wanted. But again, we can use the pseudo body to do these sorts of things as well, which we will cover in a future video. And there we go. We've set up axis move now on our left and right controller, and we can simply move around our scene using our thumbsticks. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron, and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.